Welcome YouTube, how's it going? It's me the cool loser and it is a different setup here. You might have seen it maybe once, but I'm showing you now that I'm gonna be doing more face cams and I'm gonna be doing more news, tutorials, all that kind of stuff. I've been trying to find my niche back into this channel and as you can see, I'm using my computer. I'm using a screen recorder right now this very moment. I'm using the Elgato cam, so it's capturing everything that goes through that Elgato HDMI. So what that means, I can use any device that has an HDMI hookup and use whatever it outputs to be an input recording for my computer. So I'm using my Panasonic Lumix G7 for my webcam. And um, I follow Bandrew Scott here and he's tweeting, I'm gonna admit something. Every single time I try something new or change something about my YouTube channel, I'm scared it will trigger the algorithm to stop distributing my channel. There's always a week of anxiety anxiety leading up to change. That's always a factor, like this video itself, I'm explaining what I want to do further with this channel. Obviously my channel here isn't the greatest, I never meant to be the top notch, but I did and still do enjoy showcasing applications and games and technology, whatever. At this point, in order to move forward, I kinda have to revert back to my old ways, like what my channel started as, apps and games. And it's not gonna be just for Android, it's gonna be for iOS as well, I need to incorporate both worlds. Both platforms have something that I want out of it, so I have to use them. My daily driver is still the Pixel 2 XL. I enjoy it very much, but it really doesn't mean that this is better than the iPhone 10. It just means that this is more accommodating to my lifestyle and what I can do with my channel. Although the Pixel series is Google's baby, it's not widely used. A lot of people don't really jump on that train. They're usually Samsung. So many phones out there, even though I have a Pixel, doesn't mean that you can't learn or have something that my Pixel does because you have a different phone. So in this video, I'm just going to update you guys of what I'm going to bring back or bring something new. If you've been a long time subscriber, you guys will know that I've tried many things and it didn't you know, take off, so I killed it off and I didn't continue it. I just ignored it and just moved on to what was working. But I'm gonna go back to trying it one more time and then seeing what is working because I'm trying to make more content for you guys. I'm trying to stay relevant. I'm trying to give you more videos that will be useful for you and me because I'm also learning every time I buy something new. And also, if you guys are interested in becoming a YouTuber or doing something similar or learning how what it takes to do what I do or other creators out there for the matter, I could tell you or they could tell you, I could refer you people. Some YouTubers out there don't like to mention or collaborate with other YouTubers because it might take away from them. Collaborating with people not only benefits you and the other people, but you get to discover more great content out there. So I wanted to mention the fact that I've been following two to three years of people that I follow as YouTubers and I have a connection, but not really friendship, but I do know them in a certain level where I can communicate. And those two channels that I wanna to mention today is Front page tech where I get the latest news in a lot of funny comical ways. I love the guy. He's like straightforward, tells you the real stuff that you want that people are most likely thinking or afraid to say he's doing it. It's such an enjoyable way to watch it, and I recommend watching him out. Subscribe to them. They have like 86,000 subscribers. I'm a 210,000 subscribers, and I don't even touch the views that they get. So that is something that I envy, something that's motivating me, and something that I really want to kind of relate to. And again, just because someone does something already doesn't mean that you can't try it or add value. But I want to bring something similar because they cover all the front page text, the really important stuff that people are really looking for. A lot of people like the same things I do or they want to know something entirely new that they don't know about. I want to bring that to you. I'm a fan of front page tech, so definitely go subscribe to them. They deserve all the views that they get. Now, the second one is Podcastage. Actually, he has two channels, but I follow that one main channel because I love getting podcasts from him. He talks about microphones, he talks about conspiracy stuff, and he's a paranoid freak that will tell you about all securities of every platform out there. He will make you paranoid or rethink about logging in or trying things. With that said, he's a microphone channel that will give you so many different type of comparisons and new upcoming cheap ones, expensive microphones for you to check out. He'll give you all the geeky specs about the microphone, what it sounds like from this far to that far. I don't even know all the words for everything. I've been using the blue microphone because it's just, I'm, I'm not really an audio guy, I'm more of a video camera, so that's what I concentrate more on. But if I really wanna step it up, I know which one to go for. Him and I have been thinking about doing a podcast because it's fun. We love talking, we love talking about tech. We have a lot of opinions and we're also like a alien freak. As far as I know, he plays with it 
but I have my own real connection. If you're interested in that, we might be launching that. We tried to do it like almost two years ago, I think, and we haven't even got around to do it. We gotten further, but we haven't even got to that point. Keep tabs on our social network so you know that if it launches. I'm almost at the point where I can combine everything into one channel because I'm not getting the type of views ratio to my subscriber. Like I got 210,000 subscribers, but I only get around three to 4,000 average views on my videos. That doesn't make sense. It doesn't add up. So if people aren't watching my videos who are subscribed anymore, it's because they're not interested in certain things that I'm reviewing or showcasing. So in that sense, it does not bother me. You don't want to know about these headphones that I completely love love them i praise them i use them for everything they vibrate like crazy play all my games i listen to music the bass is it's incredible like i i would actually cry if i broke these because i love them and i will buy them again if they break because they're awesome and i haven't made a review sometimes when i love something so much i just use it and i don't even make a video about it because i'm just so strung up on it but again these crusher wireless headphones by skull candy not a sponsorship speaking of sponsorships Half of the things that I review are sent to me for a review. I don't get paid to do it. They just send it to me to check it out. And if I like it, I make a video. If I don't like it, then I don't make a video. So most likely all the videos that you see is because I like them and I see some value that you want to check it out. So I will make a video about it and they're not paying me to do it. And if they do do pay me, it's usually a hundred to $200 and that's very low. But again, I'm not getting those views to be able to justify charging a amount of some more than that. And it's totally okay. And I will always disclose it, but a lot of the other products that I am buying are my own choices that I said I need this and I want to showcase it. I need to buy that and I'm going to showcase it because it benefits me being able to help you and also helps me get a kickback from Amazon. So if you do buy the Elgato, this camera, how I'm able to use my camera as a webcam, because a lot of people are buying cheapy webcams that don't look as good as what you're maybe looking at right now. I love it. It works on Mac and Windows. So, you know, that's just you're looking at the quality and that's just in this darkness it can be a lot better so that's the beauty and purpose of my tech channel is to bring you guys something that you would like with that said going back if i make something brand new and you watch it you don't like it i don't think you should unsubscribe just skip the video entirely uh, uh, obviously it's not for you and you just wait for the type of videos that i make just like banjo is having trouble putting his podcasts onto his microphone channel or i'm going to stop uploading these entire podcasts and the interviews and all of this stuff like that. I don't want to disrespect my audience anymore. And I'll, I'll elaborate a little bit more on that. I just feel like people subscribe to the podcast channel mainly for microphone reviews or tutorials or tips and tricks. So when I throw a 45 minute podcast about my thoughts on general tech, people haven't subscribed to that. So that's kind of disrespecting their expectations and their trust in hitting that subscribe button. It was about a month ago when he put his podcast into his one channel, Podcast Age, and he decided to just separate them again because he feels that he's offending people because they didn't subscribe for that kind of content. And I think that's a bummer. I honestly think some of the subscribers who aren't going to unfollow you for that instead of like helping you out you know a lot of the time that we put into this takes a lot out of our fun where we sacrifice time and it's not as easy because if everybody could be a youtuber you'd be a youtuber everyone would be a youtuber it does take money and lots of time and it you have to sacrifice so anyways this is a very long video i just wanted to rant off and update you guys on what i'm going to bring to this channel um give me suggestions and ideas of what the current subscribers are wanting I know apps and games that's gonna have to be uh, a lot more and I will do that it's just summertime I always take the most time off okay so I'll have to work on an introduction again I don't know how to transition everything as I'm gonna practice this video is super long I have no idea how I'm gonna make it hopefully I chopped it up to be way less there you guys have it that's my update I'm gonna always bring something to this channel I would love your support and take on this so if you don't like something that I do just let me know and if you don't like it I'm still doing it just skip the video and wait for the type of video that you would like to see. There you guys have it. Thank you for watching, and as always, I will see you guys next time. Later.